good day people so unfortunately i will not be building today as you can tell it's still wet it was drizzling for the better part of the day so i just couldn't really bring it upon myself to take this plastic off but that doesn't mean i'm not going to show you the floor plan so i'm real excited to do that but first off i wanted to give a big shout out to my brother jared he always has my back and with that he helped me build this whole bottom part of this house to get me going when we first started i'm showing you some clips right now you can see that me and him did all of this so i want to do a huge shout out to jared for always having my back if you don't know jared please go subscribe to the channel he is getting up there i'll just say that he is doing some really big things he's gonna be up here shortly so he's gonna be able to help build this house again and all that so guys go show him some love feel free to subscribe to his channel it's Jared Crocker is down in the description if you'd like to uh, check it out but he uh, I'm trying to get him to come up sooner than later so maybe you can go to his channel comment and say Jared get up there and help him put the walls up but for now I need to go show you the floor plan and get your input before I start building this thing because this house is going up. I was hoping to do it today, but it rained a little bit too long. I'm already longer. I'm already further along in the day. I waited and waited and waited. Hopefully, I could uh, build. But as you can tell, it's still wet. So I bought some lumber. I'm not gonna show you that because then I'm gonna get too excited. But then I'm gonna go get some more tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow the walls will start going up. All right, guys. So here's kind of the floor plan that I kind of drew up. This is actually the side of the house, so don't think it's the front. This is the side. It is. It's 16 feet wide this way. The walls will be 10 feet tall this way, and then this is the front of the house over here, and then this is the back of the house. So again, this is the side. So just remember that. So basically. The building again from here to here is 16 feet wide from the floor to the top of the wall will be 10 feet tall that way it feels a little bit bigger in there and it kind of lifts the ceiling up a little bit gives me a little more room so 10 foot walls 16 feet wide remember the whole house is 16 by 16 well the front porch will be over here there will be some steps kind of up here and you walk up here's your, here's the front porch it's going to be eight feet sticking out so i can have a big front porch it's going to keep all the rain everything off of the house and the reason i want that is because the, the siding in the house is going to be cedar logs and i want that to look as awesome as possible for as long as possible so here in the front porch you're going to kind of get up and you'll have a door right here and then you walk in i have two long windows here and I'll have my fireplace slash fire uh, wood burning stove right here. And so this will be on the outside wall. And then it'll have like a little cutout right here that the uh, pipe can come out and vent. And then over here is a kitchen window. And I'll have kitchen counters, stuff over here. But up here on this side, so, so over here in the front, you know, again, you walk up. And then the roof of the front porch is actually going to be a loft up here there'll be a loft up here in the top with a queen size bed and then that way it's not taking up any room over here in the house this will be all open all the way to the top so it's going to feel really big for a small area and having the loft instead of over here because this could have been cut off and i could have put the loft right here but when you walk in and there's already a ceiling over the top it's going to make it feel small so what i'm going to do is utilize the porch instead of building a roof of the porch i already have it with the roof of the house i'm just going to extend it out the same on the back i'm going to extend it out this way and there will be another loft so i'll be able to sleep people over here people over here and then have pull out couch down here so it's a small house but you could fit a lot in it and then when you go through the house you'll have a back porch way over here and then you're probably wondering what is this so like I said there will be a loft up here and I'm gonna have a little window that opens or a door with a small little balcony up here so you can see up over everything and have an awesome view and then when you're down here in the porch it's covered in case it's raining or snowing it's all covered and then this will just block a little bit of the sunlight here and then I may extend the deck even further out but if anything, this will be good enough. It'll be covered. And so it'll just be really nice to come out, drink some coffee on the back porch, look out over the hill and the trees and um, all that. So that's going to be really, really cool. So this is kind of the outside side view of this. So you walk up on the front porch. You have a roof over the porch, which is also a loft. You walk in the house. 
you got two long windows with a wood burning stove in the middle. Then you got your kitchen area over here with the kitchen window. You got 10 foot tall walls. Then you got another um, part in the middle going up. There will not be a ceiling right here. The ceiling will go all the way. It'll be vaulted ceilings to the top. And so when you walk in, it'll be really tall looking in there. And then you'll see the loft on over here and a loft over here. And then you walk out the back, you got a big, huge deck and then it's covered. And then over here, it'll be a balcony deck up here on top. So you can either be up on top and I'll probably put some stairs on the outside of that as well. So you can just come and go as you please that way, or you can just have a whole deck. So now let's check out the next view. So this is top looking down. So this is the front porch over here. We're gonna have some stairs. I don't know if I want them on the side or on the front, but of course this is showing the loft and you can have a big queen size bed. And of course it's slanting down like this. So your peak is gonna be right here in the middle. So you may even be able to stand up in here if you're uh, not too tall, but you'll have a huge queen bed. I'll put some storage here and there and that'd be cool. But then you walk in the front door here, the wood burning stove will be right there with the long window and long window on each side. So that's gonna be really cool looking. And then you keep going, you got a kitchen and you got a cool little um, corner nook over here for the kitchen. There may or may not be a stove. If it is, there'll be a little wood or a little uh, gas stove with like two burners, no oven, no anything like that because there's not gonna be, the only electricity for this whole build will be solar. And I don't want microwaves and all that stuff to be soaking up all the power. So I'm, I will have a solar generator and I'll be able to run small appliances, but nothing big. But I want a window over each side so you can look out no matter what you're doing. And here, I want this to be a sliding window and I'm gonna build kind of like a table out here so you can sit it on the deck but you can have the window open and pass stuff in and out, kind of like we did at Jared's house, but we haven't got that far yet on his house. So you have a cool kitchen area. And then over here, you're gonna have a huge glass sliding door. It's gonna be about six feet wide. So that way it's whenever you're in the house, it makes the house feel bigger and open. And so you'll see out on the deck and then with good weather, you open the door and you have a whole lot more space going on. So that's gonna be really, really cool is to have a huge glass sliding door. I looked at French doors, I looked at sliding doors and in my budget, a sliding door is what's gonna go with that. So I know a lot of you are gonna say, once you get French doors, it just happened that a sliding door is more in my budget, but that'll be all glass. So you'll see all out there, it's gonna make it feel a lot bigger. And then over here, you're probably thinking, well, what is this add on? This is going to be the bathroom. There will be a really small um, compost toilet in here, a small shower, and the shower is probably going to be somewhere on this side. I may, I put the door here, but I may move the door on this side. So as of right now, I haven't come up with what I'm going to do yet. So either the door will be on this side or on this side, because this is going to be added on later. And then, so I'm gonna have a shower here so I can have an outdoor shower over here. And then that way it'll all be plumbed up together and the water can go either to the outside or to the inside. So I'm gonna make that double use right there. And then I'll put a compost toilet and then I'm gonna put some kind of closet in here. So, you know, maybe all this will be closet or if it's flipped around, you know, I'll put a closet over here or something. I'm not 100% sure on the bathroom layout, but that's basically what it's gonna be, a place for me to have all my clothes. It's gonna have a small shower, a small compost toilet, and maybe a little vanity. I don't know if I even need a vanity. But then on the outside of that, whichever way up at the door, I'm gonna have a little, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a little area for my desk. I need a place to work, because in this tent, it ain't working. So I'll have a desk area either here, if the door's over here, or if I decide to move the door over here, I could put a little corner area um, as a desk. And that's kind of what I'm thinking is maybe this way would make a little more sense. And then that way, it's just kind of work here. I can kind of look out and have a cool view. And then the bathroom's more just right here in the middle instead of just right here as soon as you come in. But we'll see what happens. If it's this way and I put the door here, I could put a shower right here and that makes more sense. So realistically, I'll probably move the door here, but when I drew it up, I put it there. But that's not too much of my worries and I'll put a window in there to vent out all the uh, steam or whatever. And then over here, I'm gonna have a window with a pullout couch. So 
because of that, I could sleep down here in the bottom, or I could sleep in this loft or this loft, or if I have people over, I could potentially sleep six people comfortably in beds, two, two, and two, unless you wanna put all six people in one bed. I don't care. It's your own uh, thing there. But we'll have a window there, and then I'm gonna have two windows here in the front, so it'll be three foot windows. That way, it lets a lot of sunlight in, and then in the summer, I can open up these windows, this window, these two do not open, but I can open this one and this one and even over here. So air will be just circulating all through the house. And I planned it to where no matter where you're at, you're going to have a lot of sunlight because I don't have a whole lot of power and I'm not going to be running lights all the time. But with, this, with the windows, you can also have air come in. And then if for some reason something ever happened and the wood burning stove smoked really bad inside, I just open all the windows and it can vent all over. And then even up in the loft, I'll put some, a window in the middle here and a window here. So when the smoke rises, it can go out each of the windows. But that's kind of the overview of all this. So this is technically the front porch. And then the loft will be above it. Then you walk in the door over here. You got your wood burning stove. You have your kind of uh, living room area over here. And if I ever get a TV, I don't know if I will. I'll probably just put a TV center, like a console right here. If I even put a TV, but I'm not going for that in this cabin. This is more off-grid. Enjoy the scenery and company if you have it, but stay away from most electronics. I'm already all over YouTube. I don't want to be stuck to a TV. So, you know, you go in here, then you can have a desk area over here, your bathroom, your kitchen area over here. I want the kitchen close to the uh, wood-burning stove so I can kind of cook on that if I need to. And I'm right here and I can just go back and forth. Then you go out the, the glass sliding door. You have your whole deck area out here. You have a loft above it. And then you have a balcony on the back that you can stand on top, but it also gives you shade on the bottom. And then I may have the uh, deck extend further out. And then I'll have an outdoor bathroom area over here. And then on this side, I'll show you in just a second from the front view, but I'm going to put a deck all the way. There will be a deck on this side so you can walk up, go around the house and come on the side or on the back. So there will be an area you can walk all the way around. So that's going to be really cool. And then I'll have an outdoor fireplace and all that area, maybe like back over here on the ground. I'm not sure yet, but that's what I'm thinking. Since the tent is on this side, that could be a guest house have fireplace and all that stuff here and then the outdoor area that you can have fun and hang out with people over here outdoor shower and all that here now let's look at the front view so this is the front the front porch will be right here of course you walk up you have your door you have your two windows and then this is what i was talking about i'm gonna have the uh, roof pitch go down here and then it'll cut over and it'll stick out about four feet this way no rain and no sun will be messing up my cedar um, siding all the way around because the front will be sticking over six to eight feet as well. So I want to keep this siding looking beautiful for as long as I can because it's going to be a lot of work. But you'll have a door here, two windows, and it'll be covered on both sides. On this side, you're going to have the bathroom back here. So it won't be a walk around all the way unless I add kind of a little bit more on this side around the bathroom. But this kind of gives you an idea of it'll be covered. I can even put all my firewood over here if I want, and that'll work out. And then over here, the same thing. I can walk from my front porch all the way around to the back, and that'll be awesome. And then all up here will be loft and sleeping, but also overhanging as the porch um, cover right here. So that's kind of the front. So hopefully this all makes sense. It'll be 10 foot walls, 16 feet wide. And then I'm thinking this is going to be about six feet up here because that's not too much of a slant. I may even go up to eight feet, but that's kind of stretching it because it's eight feet as a pitch and it's only going out eight feet on each side. That might be a little too steep, but it would give it room to stand up in the loft, which is really cool. So I may go up a little higher, but six feet is already pretty tall for me. And then you go back to the uh, floor plan and you can see the floor plan again. And then the side view again, you walk up on your front porch, you have a loft above it. You go in the house, you got two windows, wood burning stove, you got your kitchen, you got all this is vaulted ceiling. So it's going to look really big. And from, if you're standing in the middle, you can see up and see a loft. You can see up, see a loft. You can walk out the back. You have a huge deck and uh, out back, uh, 
you have a huge deck and a backyard patio area and then of course this is a loft and it's covering and then you have a balcony up here that extends out if you want to be on top and look out even further so that is that i hope you guys were able to follow along and kind of get my idea so hopefully that wasn't too much you kind of get the rundown of what i'm going for yes it's a 16 by 16 building but i'm getting a whole nother level on both sides as a loft so it's going to make it seem a lot bigger on the inside the reason I'm doing that is I already have to build a roof for each porch in the back patio anyways. Might as well just extend the house uh, roof out. Then you're really not spending a whole lot of extra money and you can just make a whole loft out of it and have more space to either for storage or for guests to come over and hang out. And then eventually if I start a family and all that, it gives me extra space and the kids would love a loft, I already know it, if that ever comes into play later on in the future but guys before i jump off i wanted to announce something that i am extremely excited about it's something that i've been hoping for for a long time and my older brother matt most of you guys know the his channel is called the real r-e-e-l matt crocker the real matt crocker his channel is gonna be based around fishing and he still wants to do that but now he's thinking of taking it on the road and he's been wanting to go on a road trip for a long time now he hasn't been out the to california so what he's gonna do is he's gonna travel in his vehicle and do a bunch of stealth camping which is awesome and then i think eventually he's gonna buy a rooftop tent uh, once he can afford it later on but what he's gonna do is he, to begin with, he's going to drive up to my parents' house, stay there for a day or two. Then he's going to drive up to Dallas, stay with Jared for a day or two. And then he's going to come up here and uh, he's going to stay with me for a few days and help me kind of do some stuff. And then we have a big project for him that we're going to work on while he's here. And then he's going to hit the road from Oklahoma towards California. He's going west and he's going to go live out his dream of being on the road and doing all that. And so I'm extremely excited for him. That's going to be so cool. And he's already talking about maybe trying to meet up with some of you guys out there in the road. So if you guys would like to follow along, his channel is The Real, R-E-E-L, Matt Crocker. I'll put a link down in the description and you can go check it out. I'm going to actually link his video talking about this whole adventure so you can watch that exact video and kind of see who he is if you don't know him and what his whole vision is with, with all of this. So I am extremely excited. I don't... I think he's kind of been watching me out here and we kind of been communicating and stuff and uh i think it, it kind of just pushed him to just to go for it if i can live in a tent in the middle of the woods by myself for a month now he can easily make it on the road doing stealth camping and he's the type that's like me he loves the outdoors he wants to uh try to go to some national parks go fishing in different states meet people go to california and all that stuff so it's gonna be pretty cool i am extremely excited so if you'd like to check that out and follow along please feel free to go over and uh, subscribe to his channel you won't be uh you won't be disappointed i'll say that and plus he's gonna be at my parents house he's gonna go to jared's house he's gonna come up here and hang out with me and then he's hitting the road for good um for as long as he can pretty much so i am extremely excited for him i am so proud to be a part of the crocker family you guys have no idea my parents they're doing some awesome things they had their goats and all that stuff and they were very proud of all of us jared's doing his thing in dallas matt's about to do his thing and hit the road i'm out here in the woods trying to build a cabin so just guys this is just proof that the crockers are just a normal family and you are just normal people just like us there's no reason why you can't go out there and live your life and that's the thing that our entire family wants to do is show you guys that if we could do it you can do it and we believe in you and we really truly do we we're, we don't just say that just to like sound good or whatever you want to call it i don't know there's some people that are like y'all are just so fake it's not that you have no idea when your last day on this earth is and this whole kobe bryant thing which is crazy you know he just passed away in a helicopter accident and he had everything in his life everything he just probably just multi-millionaire just everything and he still passed away unexpected so that just basically you know just just proves you never know when your last day is so go out there live your life be excited about it and just do what you want to do and don't let anyone bring you down so unfortunately i didn't get the build today i know some of you are gonna be pretty upset with that that's fine i don't care tomorrow is a new day 
we're gonna build and then I'm gonna go over to Kevin's house tomorrow and go live so we'll see you guys later thanks for uh, checking out my awesome floor plan I know some of you guys are gonna uh, put a lot of your input in and that's what I want I want your input so thank you guys for watching I love you see you tomorrow